We're here with Ray Novak. He's got the brand new ICOM ID50. He's going to tell us all about it. Well, we're going to start with Jason's question first. I, I love <laughs> okay. that. We had, I had the conversation with, with the John Davis, who's teaching the D-Star 101 course the other day. He goes, I'm calling it an ID52 light. I go, I jokingly said, yeah, you could consider it an ID51 Mark II G. <laughs> okay. So that'll get some uh, chuckles yeah, out yeah. there. The, the thing is, this is for somebody that's wanting to get into the hobby. We had a lot of debates about whether to go the route of the ID31 again, where it was UHF only. Right. I mean, our second largest market, I call it second because United States, Canada, and the, the Americas being first. Mm -hmm. Japan has no two meter repeaters. So if you're looking at UHF being extremely important for them, but it was mediocre here in the States. Even though most of the D-Star repeaters are on UHF, now that there's more getting on two meters, the guys like the, the third generation repeater, it's analog and D-Star, we decided to come out with the ID50. Pricing hasn't been set yet. It's got a lot of the features that, that People liked out of the ID51 series. Uh, I think it was the ID. No, it was the ID52 where we introduced um, dual DV uh, dual watch. Right. This one is like the 51 where it does not. So that's where I jokingly say it's like the Mark IIG of it. Okay. There's a lot of 51 features in this product mm -hmm. that um, a lot of people were happy with. Mm -hmm. It does not have the color display. Um, it does have the waterfall feature for it, but it's going to be monochrome. The user interface is that of the 52. They're using GUIs for your... Hold it next to it. Size comparison. Dude, really? But let's, let's imagine the 52 has all its knobs on it there. I better use it. How do you obtain a free replacement knob for your ID52? I'm not showing you in this video right now. What is this? So you're saying the feature-wise, it's pretty much the same minus the screen. Uh, minus the screen, minus the color. You do not get the dual watch for the DV mode okay. with the 50 with the ID50. <laughs> so what's going on, Jason? It, it's all the same controls, everything, pretty much, right? Yeah. yeah. Just totally. If the user if the user interface works, why change it? Right. I was wondering if if you just dropped the D Star on. But apparently it's, it, it has D-Star as well. Yeah, it's got the D-Star so, in it. If you wanted one that did not have D-Star in it, I would point you to the, the T-10. Oh, the T-10. Yeah, we've done, we've done videos on that one already. So the size difference between the 50 and the 52 is largely the screen. Is yeah. that why yeah. it shrunk down? It's just going to the monochrome, you've got a little smaller platform. A yeah, smaller platform. You take a look here, your lines line up. So yeah. the speakers are the same size. The right. buttons are the same size. So your screen height. GPS antenna in the same place, looks like the same style knob, so if my ID50 knob comes up missing, um, I know where to go. <laughs> what, uh, what charging options? Well, one of the things that I like about it is the USB-C yeah. charging port. There you go. That's what everybody's going to be asking. That's it. That's Not, be the no thing. mid-section allowed, all right? Okay. All right. <laughs> you don't have a release for that. <laughs> okay.